Good evening writers and this time I'm absolutely not at home. This is not my conservatory or my massive lounge that I'm in because this is a different space. I'm in the youth hostel at Whitby. If you know anything about Whitby from stories about whaling or stories about literature such as Bram Stoker and Dracula, you will know that Whitby has many, many points of interest and is of great attraction to a lot of people. The youth hostel where I'm staying has been part of the Youth Hostel Association for almost a hundred years. It was given in the 1930s by the family who own it on a long peppercorn lease. I've stayed here many times as a child, as a teenager, as a young adult. I've stayed here with my children when they were still at primary school and then early into their secondary school years. We've come here with school groups on rugby tours to play other schools in Yorkshire and it's been a place that I've come to again and again. I'm looking at an old Ordnance Survey map here. This is of the North York Moors and there's actually a picture of Whitby Abbey on the foreground of the map. But looking at this earlier this evening, because I picked it up knowing I was coming out to Whitby, looking at this map I can actually see a stamp on here from the youth hostel. It's a custom in England and around the world within hostels to collect a stamp at reception when you check in or check out of the youth hostel. And here there's one of Whitby Abbey and another one of the Pirate Hostel at Boggle Hole, just a little bit further down the coast. But we collected these and my dad has annotated notes of years that we walked here and then there are routes that we walked along the Cleveland Way coastal footpath and then the path that goes across the moor and leaves the coast behind. But it's a place I've been to so many times and that's the point I want to make. I'm in a comfortable place and whilst I'm not here for writing, I'm here to spend time with family uh, down in town because of a boat that is being prepared. But because I'm here for three days, I absolutely know that I will be writing here while I'm at the hostel. I didn't bring my laptop, but I brought my iPad, and with it I've got a, a wireless keyboard that I carry with me. So I will, tomorrow morning, before I go down to the boatyard, grab a breakfast in the hostel. I mean, I'll be going down into Whitby, I'll grab a coffee at a new place I've seen. So I'll grab a coffee there before I go to the boatyard to do some remedial work on the boat that is being prepared for this new lease of life. With today being the 14th, we are effectively at the end of week two of Preptober. And this week I've had a really good week compared to the first week, which was about trying to work out what I want to do in October and then put some of that into play to take us forward into NaNoWriMo. I've actually enjoyed four mornings this week. I've been able to join Tish Bouvier on her Write With Me group on YouTube. It's a live group, it takes place at five o'clock Central Standard Time in the morning which for me in England is easy because it's 11am. But it has been another opportunity just to write. I've typically managed 700 words, almost identically actually, 700, 720, 750, 710. And that's been an amazing blessing for me. And I feel really very pleased that I've been able to do that. Today I haven't managed any writing. We came by bus at midday to Whitby. It was such a beautiful journey to travel across the country on the top deck of a two-tier bus, seeing the countryside of Yorkshire. But tomorrow I'm writing, Sunday I'm writing, and Monday I'm writing every morning before I go down to the boatyard. Let's see what happens, but that will take me to Monday and the third day of week three of Preptober. I hope you are making great progress. I'm happy with what's happening. I'm finishing my detective fiction story and I'm jotting ideas down for the two new books that I want to launch, publish, and start selling by the end of NaNoWriMo. Wherever you are, at home, in a hotel, in a hostel, working on a farm, working in the woods, working at coffee shops, wherever you're writing, happy writing.